All right, everybody, welcome back to 5-Minute Fridays. 5-Minute Fridays is a video where I try to do on Friday um, a topic about a car, and I try to explain it in five minutes or less. All right, so today's topic is seatbelt loop or energy loop. Let's get started. Someone asked me, hey, what does the seatbelt loop do? And I'm thinking, seatbelt loop? They're like, yeah, the loop on your seatbelt. So I'm like, all right, hold on, let me check. So I go over this car, I look over, I'm like, seatbelt loop. No seatbelt loop, huh? All right, let's try this one. No seatbelt loop, just a little clip. I'm trying to figure this out, right? And looking around, this has a little dot there. Like I said, these cars don't have anything in here. No loop, just a either a clip or a dot. And these things are meant to hold the seatbelt uh, buckle in place, as opposed to just falling like down. All right. So without those dots, the seat belt would just, like example, when you come into the passenger seat and grab it, if I were to sit right in here, I'm going to have to reach down to the floor to grab the buckle as opposed to where it stays right here in, in a good area where I can just fasten my seat belt. Okay, let me check one more car. Seat belt loop. Oh, look at that. Look at this. These seat belt loops. Let's play something to you. These seat belt loops are right here. All right. What they're called is energy loops. Think of it like this way. If I'm in a crash, if I'm in a crash and I go forward, like I said, I hit something like a this hypothetical speed, I hit a wall. The seat belt can absorb, obviously it's gonna lock up. It's gonna see how it grabs, it locks up. It's gonna stop my body from going forth into the windshield and out the car. And the airbag is gonna absorb some blow. However, hitting something hard enough, and like I said, I'm a big guy. So I'm gonna, that energy, that seat belt is gonna have to hold me all the energy. And I could, what this is, is, is an optional thing that manufacturers can do. It's not saying that every manufacturer can do it, but some manufacturers can do it. And what this is, what this loop would do is it will, um, when enough force is on it, it can extend, it could just unravel. So give me like one to two inches extra room so it doesn't um, damage, doesn't hurt me as much. It, it kind of lessens, the, it's like an energy, what they call an energy loop. So think of it like this way, the seat belt is, you know, that's not elastic or anything, but this gives it a small elastic rubber band like um, movement. So it can absorb a hard blow. It'll, it'll lessen it to you as the, the human body. So in the event of an accident, an accident, my torso is going forward, that extra force, my extra weight can unravel that loop that gives you a little bit more room so it's not so uh, brutal on your body. Okay, it's a safety measure. Okay, not all cars have it. Um, you can see here, and I'm surprised to actually see this in the driver's seat because most of the time you don't want the driver to go any more closer to the steering wheel. But it's there. Um, that makes that I don't, each manufacturer has their own testing, their own ratings, why, you know, such and such forward. Um, I'm assuming Tesla does it because, first of all, there isn't any engine in here so that at that point they can add a little bit more crumple zones into the car um I, honestly I, I don't know the reason why there's one here in the driver's seat most of the time you don't see one in the driver's seat um but it's here so that's what it's called energy loop made to um unravel an event of a accident where it gives you one or two inches of extra room in the belt anyway that's five minute fridays Thanks for watching. Have any questions, any other questions you can ask, um, let me know. Thank you. Also, people are going to ask, well, Eddie, my car doesn't have a seatbelt loop. 
you know, as, as was shown earlier, not every car has it. Does my car, is my car less safe? No, it's not. Each manufacturer can decide what they want to do, just as each manufacturer can decide the number of airbags and where they will place them. Like I said, not every car is going to have a knee airbag, not every car is going to have um, maybe this, the torso airbags. So each one, it just depends on their safety rating. I will check, obviously, the website. Uh, I'll link in the description, uh, National Traffic Highway Safety. You can check your data and you can see there basically what the car does in crash tests.